Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10 minute talks that give a high level overview or an in depth look at a small portion of a PHP related topic. Lightning Talks are a great, great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and, and for longtime speakers to test drive a new talk idea. Right now we have Jocks Woodcock. Tonight he's going to be talking about PHP files and introduction. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Jocks some feedback. Jocks, uh, take it away. Awesome. Uh, am I broadcasting? Ah, there it is. Yay! Yay, technology. All right. Hi, I'm Jacques Woodcock, as Joe mentioned here, and I am trying to get my screen where I can actually see what's going on. Sorry, this is my first one of these. Um, thank you for coming out tonight, and thanks for watching if you're watching the video. My talk is a general overview about working with files in PHP. First, a little bit about mine. I'm a graphic designer turned programmer. I've done PHP, JavaScript for oh, it's over 10 years now. I've worked in Python, ActionScript, Cold Fusion, and many others. I'm a huge community, um, community supporter, and I was one of the co authors of uh, Vert PHP. And yes, I do miss my beard. Uh, currently, I'm the CTO at a startup here in Nashville called Tandem. Uh, we're in the ticketing business, uh, and uh, we are hoping to take over the world soon. So, far. First thing to know, there's a lot of methods built into PHP for working with files. Um, the way typically it, it goes, you, you work with files in three scenarios. Uh, the first scenario is uploading those files uh, from a, a website, uh, so from the client browser all the way up to your web server and then putting that in a specific location or doing something with it. The second case is moving them around. Um, third is reading or writing a file, so finding out what's in the contents or writing the contents to a file. Uh, so it's very fortunate that they, you know, we have these three scenarios, and I've listed them that way because they kind of flow into one another. Um, as you're typically working with uploading files, you start with the upload, then you focus on the moving it to a specific location, and then you can worry about reading or writing that file from there. So let's start with upload. Uh, the first thing to know is that. Uh, when you upload a file in your HTML you, uh, and you're using a multi-part form with uh, a file input field, uh, that file will come across as you named it in the name uh, property of the file input field uh, into a global uh, under files. Of course, if you're using a framework, you don't want to access the global directly. This talk is not about best practices. This talk is just about dirt down deep dirty about working with files. So you would access that file uh, um, and save it as a variable. That variable actually saves a short array. In that array, you have a name, a temp name, a size, error, and a type. Important things to know is the name is actually the file name. Nothing to do with location of where that file is. The temp name, on the other hand, is where the file is on your server. The size is in bytes. Error is zero if there's nothing, or it gives you a list of errors if there's, if there's a particular type of errors. And then finally, the file type gives you the file type. Uh, an example of what this would look like, here, here's one here. So the name would be file.png. The temp name would be root temp and with a, a weird name. I mean, they do this for security purposes. You, you know, um, so you, you have to specifically know where that file is, and you can't call it remotely. Uh, finally, then you got the, I mean, next you've got the size and error. This is just an example of what one error would look like. And then uh, type would be an image PNG in this particular situation. On the slides at the bottom is a, a link to the file upload and it gives you a full list of all the errors and anything else you need to know about this um, array. Uh, these slides are on SlideShare which is in the join in talk. Okay, so list of file errors are right here, same link at the bottom. So moving files around, first let's, you first you never assume that a file is where you think it is. So you always have to make sure that file is there. You do so by using the file exists method, um, then call the, the temp name on your uh, file array. If you're uploading files, there's an is upload file method to make sure that the file that you're looking to communicate with is an actual upload file. So a tip, permissions is the biggest issue you run into when working with files. What's this mean? Well, when you're on a typical server, you're, most people are going to be on a Linux box. When you upload a file, 
that file gets uploaded as the Apache or PHP user. You need to make sure that those users actually have permissions to move files around and access those files. So if you run into an issue accessing a file or moving a file, it's because you probably don't have the right permissions. Some other check helpers is file. It checks it, make sure it is a file, whatever you're looking at, is a link, is readable, is upload file, is writable. Um, so next on the moving is we want to put this in a specific location. Move upload file will actually perform is upload file at the same time that it moves it into a specific location. The move commands um, uh, are li like Linux-based commands or typical OS um, kernel-based commands for moving things. And if you're familiar with that, they're, they all follow the same thing. You have the path for the current, um, the current path for the file, and then you have the next path that you want to move it to. In this specific, specific case, we're calling the file temp name, because that's the, the, the physical path to the uploaded file. Then we're telling it where to move it, and we're using file name um, on the end there, because when uh, you don't want to attach the temp name, because it's going to think it's, you're adding a directory on, directory on the end of that. What you actually want is to use the file name. If you don't provide one a file name, it won't get named anything. Um, and you'll just have a disappeared file. So always make sure there's a file name that's provided. Rename is another method for um, moving files as well as renaming a file. So um, in this particular case, we've moved the file into the it. Um, now this time, following the same input structure, you've got uh, the first one being the existing file, the next one being the file that you want to change it to. So a rename um, is kind of like a, a move in um, Bash, if you're familiar with that, MD. Anyway, so you got the file name for where it is now, and then you've got the file for where it is um, when you're done. As mentioned, you can also change directory uh, on this and use it as a move method. Unlink is... Uh, is a way to delete files. Simple takes one input, user, and the path to the file. Um, the interesting thing here is if there is a delete method, but that de delete method, well, there's a delete method in the PHP documentation, and that is just there to point you to the unlink method. Um, I always find that pretty funny. All right, so reading and writing with files. Um, to start with, you've got file, read file, file get contents. Um, file returns the contents into an array. Read file reads the output to uh, reads to the output buffer, and reads the string. Uh, I'm sorry. File get contents reads to a string. These are important to know the difference because depending on your situation, you typically want to use file for manipulation, read file for outputting contents elsewhere, such as if you're downloading a file, and then file get contents for manipulation as well. The thing to know about this is because you're using file and file get contents for manipulation, you have to be wary of how much memory is and how big that file is because it will suck your memory out and force your application, your server to crash. Um, because all that file gets loaded up into your server memory. The plus side to read file is there's no memory worries about that particular file. So talk, let's talk about some writing. You have F open, you have F write, and F close. Um, F open obviously will open a file, F write will write contents to it, F close will close the file from there. Or you could do it really simple and put, use, the, use the file put contents. File put contents um, is pretty straightforward. You tell it the location of your file, you tell it the contents to put into it. If you're dealing with large files, um, so one thing to note beforehand, if you give it a, an address to a file and it's not there, it will create that file for you. It's very handy. The very nice, the nice thing about this as well for large files is that if you simply add, uh, add this uh, option on the end, file append, you can just continue to dump contents into that file without having to store it all in the memory. It's very handy. Some other flags that you have that you can set is file use include path, file append, file uh, and lock execute. Uh, which obviously will lock it while you're making changes to it. There's more about file put content, um, which you can continue to read at this specific link. And that is a general overview of working with files.
So, Joe, feel free to take it back. All right, thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email joe at nomadphp.com and make sure you visit Joined In and leave Jackson some feedback. All right, cool. Thanks, Jocks. Appreciate it. Hey, yeah, no problem. Good, Good job. job. How long did that take? I didn't even time it. Uh, you were at eight or nine minutes. Ten there minutes. you go. It works. Never, yeah. That's Close awesome. enough. <laughs> cool. Does anybody ever watch these live? Yeah, we usually have uh, a handful of people watching them live. It, it's about an, we we always start about an hour early, so. Um, yeah, we usually have a, a few live people. Um. Let me make sure there's not any questions. Okay. Uh, we have one question about uh, sanitizing or validating the file name field. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a concern, or is or is it or is that coming out of uh, the global underscore files variable? Um, yes. Yeah, so it's coming out of the global underscore variable, um, but that file name is what's provided by the client, meaning that if that client names that file, execute, bash, command, such and such, um, that's going to come across as execute such and such. Um, so having some sanitation check on the file name is a good idea. Um, the temp name, however, that file will always be converted to a unique um, hash for a temp name. So you can use that temp name safely in whatever you're going to do. However, the problem with the temp name is nobody's going to remember it and uh, it's going to be obviously hard to know what that file is from the outside. Right. The other question we had was, why can't we be sure about the location or the the temp upload example? And uh, I quickly replied in IRC that you could you could set the upload folder in the PHP INI, but the, that the file name was going to be that randomly generated string. Exactly. Exactly. And so um, it's good practice because it's an error that will it'll crash your application. Right. All right, and let's see. Uh, if I have so the last question is if I have files up file then uh, then file exists files up file temp name is redundant. I um, do not. I do not believe that's true. File exists ensures that the file's there. Another reason for a file exists is that especially in an upload situation uh, is that again if you don't have the certain if you don't have permissions properly, let's say you're on a shared host and that file gets uploaded and that host actually cuts you off from that temp upload folder, that's not going to crash your application. What's just going to happen is that file is going to disappear. It's going to go into the nether. Um, and so if your application is assuming that that file is there, um, again, you're going to crash. It's not, it's, it's not a, a good situation. So, um, And there's a number of other situations, especially in the shared in, um, hosting, in, uh, hosting world, in which case a file could move on you without you actually knowing it. All right, that was the last question. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks everybody.